Hey everybody, let's be talking in this video about Android Risken and how we could avoid any person from risking your application. So first of all, what do you mean by Android Risken? Android Risken is, is very, very basic process. You develop your application and you upload your application in the store and you want to gain money from it. Some people come to your application to the store and he download it and he download this application from the store as APK and he convert the APK to source code as you see it in the previous video then he after convert the uh, uh, APK to source code he just change he go to the string files and he change the IDs that you use it in the string for ads library and he go to the Gradle and he change the application ID and he repackage the application again and upload it with this name and he's still getting money and maybe he will get money more than you because maybe he do ads. So how we could avoid this process in our application? That's what we discuss it. That's what we will discuss it in this video. First of all, that you have to know the person who tried to convert your application to source code and do risk and fart is a stupid person. He don't know a lot about, about coding as much as you know. Because he's not a programmer. He just someone follow some pattern. There is tool already available he just now there's a string file and there is a, a grader file he changed these ids and hey here you go he will he get the money so you have to know which which type of people you are working on so just adding some tracks in your code you will not able to get any benefit from your application so let me try to discuss the tricks first of all the question that many people ask me like could we prevent reverse engineering so could we prevent any people from taking our code and change it to, to taking our application and change it to the source code? Unfortunately, there is no way that we could use it to prevent Android application from reverse engineering. And you know why? Because Android using Linux kernel and because it is let's use listen kernel, it's open so open source code. So your application as a Java have to be still there so he could run it and and execute our application in the, in the kernel or in the sandbox so you have to know there is no way to prevent android application from reverse engineering so you cannot prevent people from change your application as apk to source code but do we done is the hacker could do or the risking people could do anything no there is still some tricks we could add it to avoid risking for our application First trick, you have to know, do not use local storage, like do not save everything your application uses in the local storage, like uh, images and files and XML values and SQL database. Don't use this thing for, uh, for your application as a resource. So think about it. You have application, and this application have local storage as images and as SQL data source and all this information, or SQL SQL light data, and whatever XML. If your application have all these data, and all these data are available on local application. So if the hacker download this application and change the ID and change the ads lab ads library IDs, he still be able to take your application because he could upload his own application using your resource he could duplicate the resource still your resource goes with him so you need to avoid using this way don't use images or your application images and your application for example if you have application using uh, a question and answer don't save the question and answer in an sqlite database so uh, what's the solution move all these things to the server side move all these data to the server side so whenever you have images and you have XML files or whatever, move all these uh, things to the server side. And whenever you want to access to, to this data, just retrieve this data from the server. But wait a minute. If you try to retrieve this data from the server, and uh, you also could retrieve your data from the server. So you did not do anything. For example, if you have, if you are using your code, www.example.com, and use it to retrieve the data, he also could repackage your app with same URL and he could retrieve the same data and you did not do anything. No, 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 wait, wait. This is not the case. You could not just upload it to the server and you're done. There is specific way you have to use it to avoid 
his application from access to your application resource using HTTP. I will tell you the most secure uh, prototype that you could use it. First of all, you have Android application. In your Android application, make your application sending like whenever he start your application do something in background take his application and do account for him in uh, your firebase the firebase that connected your application and you see you saw how we you saw or maybe yes you saw already how we uh, create ids for every user in the database like user account with emails or without with anonymous email so just whenever anyone Get your application just a great account for him second thing when your application want to use a resource for a start point make him first send a request to the server to access to this resource but don't make your server directly send him the resource back make sure whenever he send a request to the server you have to send the application id and your server will go to the firebase and look for this id and see hey if this id saved in my firebase okay I will give him the data. If not, I will not. So uh, using this process, you will like make sure you are, you are 100 percent the risk an application cannot use to your resource. Why? Because let me go back to the risk an risk an application. Think about it. This now risk an application. He try to uh, access to the to your Firebase. He cannot do that because every Firebase is associated with specific application ID. So his application cannot use your application resource. So he will access to his Firebase, not your. Now, when he go to the second process in his application and he try to access to your uh, Firebase, uh, to, to your service, your to his serv your service your service will go and check in your firebase not in his firebase in your firebase and he will not find the application id he will reject this process and that is very very good thing you could do it to uh, avoid his application from accessing to your resource so he will not get any benefit second thing make sure you go to the firebase and go to the sh sh a certificate fingerprint and add the SHA for your your Windows device. So when he tried to do debugging in his computer, he cannot do debugging because he cannot use your Firebase. So try try make sure to add this one because if not, he will be able to do debugging in for your application in his PC. So doing this point, you are sure one hundred percent he cannot do that using your Firebase. So make sure doing this thing. Now, I, last thing, we could, there's there's another way we could use it to secure our code. So if we have some specific code and we want we want we don't want this code to be risking it. So could we do that? Yes, we could do. We now Android now using C plus plus. So just develop your library. And write 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 your you know, important point like accessing for access something access to HTT access to credit card or whatever write all this code in the uh, c++ library then uh, use a program to change it to is is iso this is some type from this this type of the c++ library like when you define your library then take this library add it in the lib file in your application then access to it at this point you are you are not sure 100 percent but let me say 99 percent person uh, the people cannot convert c++ code back so this I, I would say use it if you have important information and you are you are working for company and yes this is a point that i want to discuss with you so make sure from what i'm saying and make sure to uh, prevent him to access to your resource here we done and thank you for watching